everyone and welcome back to my channel this is jimmy today i'm going to do a video on just before and afters a bit about the different breeds of dogs that are coming in today so this is jimmy jimmy is 11 years old first time here say hi jimmy very nervous he's shaking so i'll make this quick apparently he's part corgi part pomeranian a lot of an undercoat here as you can see very fluffy so the owner as i said here in australia it's summertime at the moment the owner would like it all off including like on the ears and all this hair under here being brought back so what i'm going to do is do a seven all over owner said last time it got groomed that there was a line at the head here so i'm going to blend that all in nicely and i'll show you guys the finished product so this is jimmy before and also one of the tail trimmed as well and it's got a lot of hair at the back there. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is Jimmy all finished. So if you remember before, Jimmy was gonna have a number seven all over. A nice summer cut to also the ears brought back. So that is what Jimmy looks like now. Good boy, good boy. And from the side, stand up Jimmy, good boy. And I've trimmed that tail as well, so it's not hanging on the floor anymore. So that's all done. Jimmy's all finished and ready to go. Thanks guys. Okay, so dog number two for today is Dobby. Dobby is a schnauzer. Now I offer a couple of services here um, if they don't want a full groom. She's in between full grooms. Um, so Dobby is in for his wash today. Obviously I'll tidy up his face a little bit and um, clip his hygiene areas. Can we get in the camera? Can we get in the camera? Can we get in the camera? Good boy. Um, and also I'll, I'll clip his nails um, and then in another five weeks I'll see them for their full clips again. So this is Dobby before his bath. Before? Let's, you got really dirty, didn't you? Yeah. And we'll show the viewers you after being nice and clean, yeah? But um, please uh, bear in mind that this isn't a full clip, it's just a bath, blow dry and a tidy. Um, and that's just to maintain them throughout, which is great. I really um, suggest that my clients do that, um, not waiting three, four months uh, for full clips. So these guys are not matted at all because they come in regularly. Thanks guys. And this is Dobby after his bath, um, he had Quite a few knots in his legs. Um, the schnauzers, obviously, they have the longer legs, so um, that will happen. I had to trim a bit more of his beard under underneath. Um, he had quite a bit of black stuff in there, so I had to do that, but tried to keep the shape as much as possible. Um, but this is Dobby after his bath and blow dry, and his nails have been done. Yeah, good boy. So all done, a schnauzer wash blow dry and tidy. Okay, we're back with our third client today. This is Tommy. Tommy's coming for a wash and blow dry and a bit of a tidy again. Um, now, these guys are outside dogs. It does come in quite regularly and um, brings them in for a wash and that, but they still do smell, smell a bit and I did notice an ear infection last time on one of them, but yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this here. There's all stuff in the ears there. Um, and I can already smell it. He's full of prickles as well, so I'm gonna get started. So this is, it's okay, Tommy. Very nervous dog, this one, very, very nervous. So this is Tommy. Um, I'll get started with him and I'll show you Tommy after. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, so I've finished Tommy. I'm just letting him have a break. Um, he's very stressed out. I forgot to tell you that um, he's blind in one eye as well. So that doesn't help the process. Now, Tommy's ears were really, really, really bad. Um, I don't know if you can see that. All that gunk 
in there and it stinks. Now, another big chunk came out, if you can see that. Or oh, that, that was in his ear canal. Um, and another one here, just full of, full of hair. Um, so I have, I have told the owner about this, um, but unfortunately due to financial situations, um, she can't get them to the vet. So what I do, all I can do as a groomer is recommend what they need. Um, then it's up to the owners to do the rest. Now, when they do come here, I make sure that their ears are cleaned out properly. Um, it doesn't look like it's getting any worse. Again, I'm not a vet, so I'm not too sure. But from what I can see, um, the ears are still as they were. Um, as long as we're cleaning it out regularly, which I'm doing, um, then that's fine. Uh, so yeah, his face didn't turn out completely fine. He doesn't like people touching his face. Owner is aware of this. Um, Tommy is a client that keeps coming back. He's still very, very anxious um, being blind in one eye. Now I'll see if I can get him up on the table here. Um, he doesn't look perfect, but unfortunately I am not gonna stress the dog out here to the point where, yeah, he's just, he, you just can't do that. Um, so, Tommy, Tommy, let's see if we can get Tommy, Tommy here. So as you can see, Tommy is all beautifully washed, his tail's brushed out, he had lots and lots of prickles in there. So when we get around this, this side, you can see he doesn't like me touching his face straight away. He, and like I said, being blind in one eye, I can't blame him. Um, he's very, very nervous. So, owner knows all this. Um, and if you have your own salon and you, you can't do any more on a dog, don't push it. Um, it's not worth the risk. Um, it's not worth the dog getting so upset about it either. Um, I believe in treating the dogs with respect. And unfortunately, this guy is blind in one eye and very, very nervous. So I'm not gonna put him through that. He doesn't look 100%, no. But in my eyes, he's clean, he's tidy, um, and that's all that matters really in the end of the day. I'm not a show groomer. I don't claim to be a show groomer. Um, but he's nice and clean, smells beautiful and fresh. Yes, his face isn't perfect, but as you can see, this is what I have to deal with when grooming him. So, yeah. All right, guys. So that is Tommy, client number three for today, and I think I'm gonna call his mummy. Okay, bye. Alrighty, this is client number four for today. This is Scruffy. And Scruffy's come in for a nice, doesn't want it too short, doesn't want it too long, so I'm gonna take about half off, which will be about a five all over, I'm thinking, and also to bring to bring all this around the eyes right back. It's, it's easier for the, the older people to manage that. So this is Scruffy before. Hey Scruff. It's, it's alright you two. Oh, oh, oh. your mummy's coming. Say hello. Say hi. Alright. <laughs> oh, I love my job. Okay, bye. Hi guys, this is Scruffy. Um, Scruffy's all finished. Uh, went super short on the eyes, so the owner doesn't have to keep wiping them. So that was good and he let me do that. Um, so I've done a five all over on the body, um, face nice and short, kept some ear length. As I said, for the older older people, they just like easy to maintain. And then from the side, he does not like his legs being touched. He's got a bit of arthritis, so I did the best that I could with that. Um, I don't push them here. Um, so yeah, this is Scrappy. Okay guys, final client for the day. This is Rufus. This is a 10 year old Spoodle. Um, and we're doing, uh, she, this, he's in really, really good nick. Um, we're gonna do probably a three or a five on the body, depending on how much a three will take off. So this is Rufus. Rufus, say hello. Give me a kiss. Oh yes, I know. This is Rufus. Oh, Rufus, Rufus. All right, let's get started. All right, guys.
guys, last client of the day is finished. Rufus, I ended up doing a number three on him. He's in really, really good nick. Um, I'm just trying to see if his ears are straight. Yes, they are. So this is Rufus. Can I stand up? You've had enough, haven't you? So, well, number three on the body, all over. Looks really, really nice. And $2 of every groom I'm doing from now on for a little while is going towards the bushfire appeal. All the koalas and kangaroos and dogs that don't have homes and things like that. It's devastating. Look up here. Yeah, so he's a proud Australian. Make sure you like, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks guys.